Hello, and welcome to my video review of the What If Captain America figure. Um, this is a Marvel Select figure, as you can see there. Um, and this, this particular um, version of, well, if you look, it's, it is actually James Rogers, aka Captain America. This comes from the cover of What If Civil War Volume 1. Now, very, very brief explanation of this figure. Um, if you don't have any spoilers for Civil War, I'm going to flash up spoiler alert on the screen now. Um, so don't watch it. No, don't listen until the spoiler's gone. Okay, basically the um, sum up is that Captain America um, died at the end of Civil War. So that was, that was the official Civil War thing, but in this version, the What If version, they went through an alternative alternative timeline to see what would happen if Iron Man was actually shot instead and so so Captain America takes on some Iron Man armor and becomes what you see here. Now my lighting is not great as such I see as you can see very Iron Man esque armor here. It's got the shield and a base it says on the side, what if Captain America? And it is a special collector edition action figure with highly detailed base. On the side, you'll see the artwork of Captain America from the issue. The back, I will look at in a second, and the side obviously doesn't have anything. Uh, all the explanations there. Right, I got this online from a website called mothersbasement.com, which I highly recommend to anyone. Um, because, as you see there, BigBadToyStore.com. Now, you may be wondering why a specific store has their website at the back. Well, this was an exclusive to Big Bad Toys back in 2008, I believe. Um, so you get a shot of him, you get, you know, the comic book image, you get the information, you can get Wolverine and Marvel Girl as well. Wolverine looks pretty cool, never been much of a fan of Marvel Girl. Um, okay. Well, the thing is, with this figure, really, you're going to have a spoiler with the very existence, I guess. Um, I've sort of opened it already. Uh, in here is an excerpt of the comic book. Okay, well, I'll go and open it, and then I shall be right back. Okay, before I jump ahead to the toy review, you also get this in it. Um... To say it's a licensed product, it's a Diamond Select thing. It's essentially a catalogue of other things you can get. <laughs> this screenshot of the Wolverine from um, X-Men Origins Wolverine, the film. Uh, he looks okay. I've always had trouble with joints. I've never liked th seeing them visibly or too visibly. And even from a glance, you can see his arms are incredibly jointy. Um... But yeah, these are the other ones you can get, obviously. This is circa 2008, so I'm more than sure the Diamond Toys have more. And there's also Marvel Mini Mates. So I've seen quite a few of these online, and I'm not going to lie, I'm not a huge fan. I, they just don't look that great. They're sort of... I understand maybe they're sort of a bit of a novelty thing, but... Yeah, they don't look great. And also I've noticed some of them are Comic-Con exclusives. Um, which I'm sure aren't actually that exclusive because if you look on eBay or Amazon, I'm bet you you're bound to find loads of them. Anyway, this is the base you get. This is him. Pull the plastic off there. Uh, that's the highly detailed base. Fair play. It's fairly highly detailed, as it says. Uh, plumes of smoke and stuff. Yeah. Solid piece. I have heard there's a bit of trouble with these, the pegs. Well, I've seen one or two reviews where it said so. Um, I'll be right back. I'm not going to be able to do this with one hand. Okay, I'm back. And I'm glad I'm, I uh, did that with two hands because they were incredibly hard to take off uh, ties. So here he is on his stand. Um... 
as you can see, it's a bit of an odd figure because he's leaning quite an angle. It makes sense because he's taking off, uh, you know. But I'm just very slightly annoyed that it wasn't like vertically. But there we are. Um, so I'll pick him up. So you can see the moulding's very good. Uh, his shield's a tiny bit warped, but I'm okay with that. You know, hands, everything's painted very, very nicely. Uh, his midriff has, you know, little Iron Man kind of things. It all looks like it's welded together. Paints, no, the paint's okay there, actually. Uh, his feet stick on to this space thingy. Um, it did take me a couple of seconds because it wasn't just a snap in. You had to like make sure both his legs are orient oriented the right way. Um, that snaps on via something at the bottom there. Um, but yeah, I mean in general, this is pretty damn cool. Uh, obviously his arms are... Um, you can move, you know, very articulated. One thing I am very slightly concerned about is that his arm there is very... Hmm, okay, it's not, it's not as loose as I thought it was, but you wouldn't want to mess with this a lot, I feel. Um, yeah. You know, um, but still, yeah. I It's a pretty nice model. The base works and stuff, and, that you know, that's a pretty cool pose there, sort of coming towards you blasting off. I am slightly annoyed you can't tilt his head up more or tilt his head at all. It's actually his head is completely non-articulated really. You know overall a pretty nice model. Um, I've you know as I said you you know do lots of pauses with him. Um, yeah nice paint job. It's a collector's item so you know keep on train. I'll probably you know, maybe find some faults with it in a while or something. If I do, I'll make an update video. But for now, I'd say a very good thing. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Um, I think it's going to be improved on. Maybe made it slightly less tilty because it does look a bit silly like that, I think. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Also, if his head is articulated more, it'd be better because he could tilt his head up and he wouldn't have the face of darkness. As it appears here. Well, you've got to tilt it up to even see any detail. But yeah, okay, well, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.